Hello everybody, welcome back to Cooking with Brenda and with David. Well, we're going to do your video before a month. <laughs> so, I'm going, I'm making something new. Now listen, it's meatloaf, but it's a different recipe than I already have on there. I make meatloaf a couple different ways to suit a situation. On this one, it's going to be... My neighbor asked me, well, she called me one day and asked me, she said, um, I have a meatloaf recipe, but I want to ask you if you think it'd be all right to do this. And I said, yeah, I think that's a good idea. So me and her both make it now, and it's good. So we're going to make meatloaf patties. You can make the patties. You can eat some now, or you can put some in the freezer and cook them later or whatever. It's really a good idea. All right, we got Turner Oven on 350. So it's a meatloaf like a hamburger patty. Mm-hmm. It's but like it's a meatloaf. hamburger patty, but it's meatloaf. <clears throat> you use first of all you gotta have two pound of hamburger and especially use lean because they're or at least use ground chuck ground chuck ground round ground sirloin something like that but the, the sirloin probably be better for this one or the ground round okay two eggs slightly beaten hold on a second it ain't working that thing something about this thing ain't acting right tonight for some reason Keep on going. We'll just have to just deal with it. All right, whenever. I've got two eggs, slightly beaten. I've got, um, I think it's a tablespoon, yeah, a tablespoon and a half, no, a tablespoon and a half of lemon juice. You've made this before. But I haven't got it for the show. Yeah. All right, I got um, a tablespoon of Worcestershire. You got one fourth teaspoon of salt and one fourth teaspoon of pepper. Did Jackie come up with this? The recipe come off of a box of crackers, but it was the idea of making them into patties. But still a different recipe than we make. It's mm. a, it tastes good though, it's real good. Okay, you got a half a cup of canned cream, undiluted, pure cream. Don't mix no water with it. <clears throat> Okay, you, you got a pack of Lipton onion soup. There's no bell peppers in this unless you want it. I, I'm not going to put them in. It doesn't give you heartburn. You got the, a package of Lipton onion soup. And, and by the way, that was two pounds of hamburger. I don't know if I said it or not, but it was two pounds. Yeah, I believe you did. But it was like extra okay. ground or yeah, something. Yeah, you got, uh-oh, that's not right. Uh-oh. What do you do? I'm trying to follow the recipe this time. I'm not real good with it yet. I was supposed to do a half a cup of crackers and I only done a third of a cup. I couldn't see that. I guess I'll finish them up here in just a minute. Okay, and you have to have some barbecue sauce and it's a half a cup of barbecue sauce divided. So you only want to put half of it in there. I'm gonna dip half of it out. Hopefully it'll be half. What you fill it up all the way for? I don't know, I shouldn't have. Now, look, let me tell you, I like a little onion in mine, so I'm going to put some onion in mine. It doesn't call for extra onion, but I like extra onion, okay? So you just put <coughs> however many you want, if you want them. Okay, i got to measure this out here. There's a cup. Where's all my cups? They're here somewhere else. What is that stuff? It's bread crumbs. No, it's oh. cracker crumbs. You're getting me mixed up. It's cracker crumbs. I'm trying to find the one half. What kind of cracker? One Salt teams? You can, you know what? The recipe calls for wheat, Kroger wheat, saltines. I don't have any. I'm using regular. They taste just as good if you use regular. My neighbor let me try hers, and wait a minute. How old is Jackie now? She's 84. No, I don't have to do, that's weird. A one third cup and a one half cup and they're the same amount. That's weird. <laughs> well, I found a boo-boo in one of these two. I don't know. <laughs> There's not a lot of difference is what it is. Okay, well, I'm going to mix it up now, okay? 
Are you going to use your... Yeah, but before I do that, I want to do something else. There's something else I want to do real quick. Got that on 350. I don't want those to melt just in case it gets hot. Yeah, it still gets hot. You think so? Yeah, the only thing's wrong with it is the eyes is all warped up. I want to put me some foil on that pan. Rot it out. What is it? The stove. I know, we're going to get a little one. I know, soon. hang in there. We'll hang you in on a minute. If you don't get this oven, we'll stop cooking. <laughs> okay, let's mix this up. You do it with your rings on and everything? Well, I sometimes do if I forget to take them off, and I forgot to take them off. I know, you always take them off. I know, but I can clean them. I've had my hands in dishwater and everything else here in the last 20 minutes. I should be able to, my hands are clean, I just washed them. Hope a diamond don't fall out and get down in there or a rhinestone or whatever. If it falls out, then something is wrong. We get a little surprise in our patty, a little rhinestone. You better get that surprise in your mat patty and put it back in my ring. Mm -mm, I'll be take it to the pawn shop. With it. It's weird how you can hear you doing that. You got to get that stuff mixed in there good. Can you use a blender? Hey, it is really no. That's too thick for a blender. You probably could with the um, the kitchen aid that I'm gonna also get. Who said? I'm gonna get it myself. I'm gonna get it. I want it. It helps with this stuff. I'll go out there and get the half inch dry drill and that uh, stuff you mix the mud with the sheetrock. Now look, I didn't have but one of the ground uh, round ones. So, I'm going to just start forming your patties. This don't seem like it's got enough crackers in it, to be honest. I don't think <clears> it does. There's a few more. Let me just put them in there that I crumbled up. Well, but honestly, if you, make your, if you make your mixture too dry, it'll be too dry when you try to eat them. So, th that ain't going to be too much. I'll just use the rest of them. But if you make your mixture too dry with crumbs and stuff, then it'll be too dry to eat. Meatloaf ain't What's good. What's the second time you made them since Jackie? No, I've made them three or four times. Or you made them three or four times? Yeah. I think I've made them three times. Three times. They're good on a mustard sandwich. Real good. And that's why I like them, but tonight we're just going to probably taste them. So like meatloaf hamburgers. Yep. Now, like I said... You, we've already experimented with this. You can freeze these patties and cook them when you want to. Now, the tricky thing is right now, we're still trying to figure out how long to cook them in the oven. I'm going to say check them in 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes, check them. If they're still gooey, put them back in there for a little bit. Well, if they're still pink in the middle, you better put them back in there a little bit. Don't be like your kinfolk, eat it raw. My kin folk, my, I understand. My mom told me my grandma used to do it too. And I'm like, oh, you're kidding me. Eat, you, your grandma eat raw hamburger meat? Yep. She said mommy would be putting up stuff, putting hamburger up or putting something in the pan to cook or something, fry or something. And she'd take her big bite of it. I'm like, I wish I hadn't heard that. Since I don't have two packs of ground around here, I'm going to press them out a little bit more. So they're going to shrink up. Did they have mal mad cow disease or anything? Or? <laughs> well, she lived to talk about it, so I don't guess. <laughs> <laughs> Which grandma on your mom's side or your dad's side? My mom's. I love that old woman. She was something else. She, the last time me and her done something, the last time we'd done something in the free world, you know, before she was able, we'd went to the, the branches and got a whole bunch of watercrest. And they look like a field crest. I know some of the old timers are going to know what I'm talking about. But the greens, I'm going to have to make them smaller. Because I ain't going to have room for all of them. Maybe I will. 
I'm probably making these way too Good big. Good day. What do you think is coming for dinner, Jolly Green Giant? <laughs> well, they're going to draw up. I still want them to fit on the sandwich if they draw up. So what was you saying about you and your grandma last time? You interrupted time? me. No, you and interrupted. you just accused me before the show uh -oh. of interrupting you. And you interrupted me yet again. I don't think so. Yeah, you did. You just done it. We're going to have witnesses, you know. Yeah. Lots of witnesses. Possibly 20,600. So? Listen, we got some... I've well, got tell some, us a story then. I've got some cards and letters. Can I tell it? Yeah. Okay, so I was sitting on the porch with my grandma. We was looking those greens. We had several big trash bags full of them. And you have to look them. And she was sitting there telling me dirty jokes. I couldn't believe it. Not <sighs> filthy jokes. Not filthy, but dirty. You know, she was elderly. And so oh, I didn't mind. I'm going to say she was in her late 60s. Probably early 70s. So Has she then, ever done that before? I hadn't remembered her telling no kind of jokes like that. Huh. My grandma's my grandma stump, she was a mess. She'd get up on the summer mornings and do her laundry, work her weeds out her garden, and head for the creek. I'm not going to make them that big. And she'd head for the creek, buddy, to go fishing. She'd get her a six-pack of beer before she went, and then she'd go and have a good time. You might as well, life's too short not to do something that you like. And she loved going fishing. It's just sit there and be peaceful and catch you some fish. And she did eat them, too. Yep, she ate them. And she must have been happy that day y'all picked them water greens in. Oh, she was real happy because they canned them. Mm -hmm. so she canned them. You, you know you can get two or three trash bags of them and end up with, what, half a gallon or two? <laughs> they shrink up so bad. But that's all greens do it. Touch water crest. It's a lot like regular greens, I reckon. Mm hmm You got all kinds of greens. There's turnip, mustard, and kale and I remember all when we, kinds of greens. When we were kids, mom made us pick dandelions and we'd have them for supper. Yeah, people put dandelions yeah. in their green dandelion greens. That's all we had was uh, was that. Old time Dan people. dandelions, that's all we had. Yep. This is going to shrink up and they won't look like I got anything probably. Probably doesn't run out of that six month supply of beans so we had some dandelions. No, they go good with beans. Beans and greens are good together. I don't remember having place. anything else with them then. You just the dandelions. Yeah, we'd have to pick them and, she, and then she'd break them, break them, so, like breaking beans on the ends. Mm hmm. These are so good. I'm so glad we that I tried them and she gave me the recipe and then we was talking about it and I said, that's a great idea. So me and her both been making them and, and you can cook them and freeze them. But I think it'd be better to, to make them up and then cook them whenever you want them. That way they won't be dried out from the freezer or nothing. They're very good though. Let's try dandelion greens one of these days. We well, we've got them. a bunch of them in our yard. We can yeah. sure try that soon. We haven't. I ain't had none since I was I'm kid. waiting on some. Look here. I'm waiting on spring. i got my spring clothes on. But it's hot in the house. We hit yeah. with wood so we can... It ain't spring outside. You step out there and ice all over the trees. I know. I don't like it either. I can't wait to get some spring weather. Yeah, we've had so much weather here and everything. The ice and... Everything I tell you, I can't wait till spring gets here. Just can't hardly wait. I'm adding this into some of them now. I didn't have, ain't that something? I remember I've been having seven and I got seven this time. Just try to put them all in the pan. Oh, I'll make that one again. And I need to do it anyway in that one. Well, that's supposed to be God's favorite number, seven. It sure is. He done a lot of things in sevens. Let's press them on. Well, he thinks they're going to be big, but they're not. They're not. They're going to shrink. So you could eat these like the way they are, or you can put them on bread, or whatever you want to yeah, do. Yeah, you can put it on your plate. You can put it on bread. You can do what you want to, however you eat meatloaf. I like meatloaf sandwiches. This is just a neat, neat way of doing it, and the recipe is different. It's on the back of the Kroger saltine crackers, I believe, or one of the crackers. Might not be Kroger brand. You get this all in my hands here. I'll have to clean my rings. I got a little brush that I clean them with. 
All right, that's all I'm going to do. Oh, I got to put the, I got to put this on top of them. Some of this uh, barbecue sauce goes on top of them. That's what you have to split it up for. And last time I didn't have enough and I had to get more out of the refrigerator. So this Is thing, there any special kind? No, whatever you like. I like Sonny's barbecue. That's my favorite. Oh. I don't know if you live in the Carolinas, Georgia, and Florida, you can you can get Sonny's barbecue. I love it. I love their barbecues. They're so good. Well, you got you some cards. We got one today from that was a Christmas card. And yeah, I, I couldn't believe that. We got a Christmas a, card today, but thank you any thank you. We appreciate it. Yeah, but it was post dated a while back yonder. Yeah, and like, it was like December 20th yeah. or something like that, yeah, 10th? Well, yeah, 10th, I believe it was. Must something. have got lost in the mail. It got lost in the mail. Probably a lot of stuff gets lost in the mail. Now, see, that's why I overfilled that cup, because last time I didn't have enough, and I got more out of the refrigerator. So this is February. Oh, I yeah, can't they... wait till spring. It won't be too much longer. I know hopefully. it can still be cold in the spring. The biggest snow I've ever seen was in, in April. But I'm still looking forward because I know it's going to start getting warm. I'm sure them folks up north can tell you stories about seeing snow in June probably. But. All right. You don't cover them up or nothing. You just put them in the oven. And I'm going to wash them. When I come back, I'll tell you how long I cooked them, okay? So we go, you're going to start off and just kind of watch them in and there. And then when you're done, you're going to say how long. And then. Yep. What time is it? It's, I think it says a quarter to eight. Okay. We'll be right back. 10.30. It's been a little longer than 30 minutes. It was 15 back. till. Yeah. What time is it? 20 after. Okay. That'd be 35 minutes. So we'll go check them. <laughs> Ooh, looks good. Let's see. Did you tell them you was back? Well, they should probably know that if I'm talking and they're uh, watching. <laughs> well, I just can't believe you got that on your T-shirt. I knew you would. I just knew my husband's a pig. He can't eat. I, I'm going to buy him another bib. I bought him one. I'm going to buy him another. I have to scrub everything he wears. Ooh. It's probably been about 40 minutes. You, you said it was 15 till a while ago. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's yes, good. Sir. Time you, it's done. Time you let it sit for a couple minutes, it's just fine. And that was a big one. Oh. Let me help you. I got it. It ain't heavy, it's just kind of awful. Of course, now the grease and stuff that drains out, that's in there. I can't help that. I'm going to move them out there. Well, it smells real good. Mm -hmm. It does, don't it? Yeah, it does. Hmm. I'm going to take them out of that grease and put them on the plate. Mmm. Man, it's putting down the rain. It is, isn't it? As long as it ain't sleep. There's it's cold your, enough, though, to freeze. Here's your flowers for Valentine's Day. I know, they're so beautiful. I got some beautiful flowers. You flowers. normally sell them out there where we can see them better. Well, I got two times on there, so... I got some more on that one. Now, cut can... this thing off. Yes. <clears throat> I should just put that one on your plate. Now, yeah, let me get you a fork. Oh, it smells so well, it looks good. Well, like it's pretty simple. I mean, to do. Very simple. So we had it in our 35 minutes. And, you know, like I said, I mean, that's the first time that I've timed it. So he said almost 40, right? Yeah, but I mean, everything varies. You so check, check it, it at least by, by 30 minutes. Between 30 and 40 minutes, it should be done. So uh, you open it up and there ain't nothing crawling around in it, then it's probably okay then. <laughs> if there was some kind of crawly, it's going to be in our dead, I would imagine. You want to taste it? Yeah. I'm sure it's very hot. Well, it's pretty easy to prepare and everything. Oh, my, that's just perfect, too. That's going to be so moist. Let's see if I can get a better view of it, what it's supposed to look like here. 
I might be able to. He won't put lights in here that you can see with. <laughs> Blame everything on I you. I know, I got the shop light hanging up. <laughs> you want to eat it? Yeah, go ahead. No, here. You're the taster. And see how moist is it? Mm, real good. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. good? Oh, yeah. Good. Now I gotta have a taste. <laughs> That's real good. I don't mm. see why kids wouldn't like that or anybody else. I know. Mm -hmm. Man, if we had something like that when we was kids, we'd freak out. Be like a bunch that of rabbit so dogs. It's so delicious, everybody. It's so delicious. Now, yeah, it is you, good. you want to add a little bit more barbecue sauce than what you had I have that it calls for. So, oh my goodness, that is so good. And John and Maria, um, Miss Betty, Becky, Kathy, I don't know if it's Miss Michelle or Miss Michael. Um, thank you for the sympathy cards. We sure do appreciate it. We also had a Christmas card. And, uh... Todd, what's his name? It's uh, Todd or Tim. From New Jersey. It's Tim Ward. Tim. We're going to listen to you on this letter, buddy. <laughs> We're trying. And Susan. We're just not really... Very nice letters. I really enjoyed reading them. I... And, and I've been on we the just barely about, we just barely know how to put a show on much less yeah, than but we're else. gonna work on it because I want him to monetize, monetize this channel and get it done if he you gonna do what to done, that channel you're gonna monetize. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know I don't know how to say it either monetization monetization mana mana mon <laughs> All right, go ahead and laugh, everybody. We do stupid and we laugh at each other. So. <laughs> anyway, the very nice cards. And we don't know how to say. I want to let everybody know that I keep all these cards and letters. And um, yeah, you got to put them in your scrapbook. Our PO box is thirty-five. It's PO box thirty-five, Bent Mountain, Virginia. Bent Mountain, Virginia. Two four zero five nine. Dang, you remember that? <laughs> I know. I can't remember my number time. That's right. Well, I was giving them time to write it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you dancing for over here, saying hee haw? So, what was that uh, word again that we're trying to learn how to do on the computer? Modernize. Modernizations. Mon I can't say it is, so don't ask me to say it. Modernization. We're going to do it, though, because if he don't get it here this week, I'm going to take it apart, and I'm taking it well, back down and get the shop. To I'm going to tell you the truth. I want to change your name, you know, and see, I don't know how to do it. See, the guy that helped us set this thing up a long time ago, i got to His figure out how to do it. His coach David, and he never could catch him at work, so. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when we originally first started doing this. You oh, know, yeah. we, we didn't do this on our own. We had some help starting off with, but but anyway, I'm going to, as soon as yeah, I figure he, it out. Anyhow, we didn't gonna get into all that old crap, but uh, we're going to get this thing fixed up here for you. And uh, we thank everybody and hope everybody's safe. We don't catch no coronaviruses, none of that crazy mess. Tim, this is going to happen, or I'll take it to our newest shop and get it, get them to help me with it. It's going to happen. Yeah, the newest shop that says that high dollar computer I bought was nothing but a bowl of poop. Well, he anyway. said that processor and I was 10 years old. Yeah, but it's supposed to be Somebody the... ripped us off. Well, it happens. But... They see you coming, you know. No, you're looking around. I thought I'm buying a good out. computer and end up buying some old... If you use the best hamburger they make, you won't have this. So okay, is this the best good. hamburger they make? Yeah, No, it's Chuck, but uh, I have some... Grease. Can you use deer meat for it? I want to. I don't see why you couldn't. I don't think it'd be any good like that, but it might. But it Why is. Why wouldn't it? I don't know, but it sure is tasty. It makes your mouth water. You, you should be able to use turkey, beef. Sometimes I buy a beef and a pork mixture. It's good too. I never I heard like of that. It. Mm -hmm. you, got, you didn't even know I was feeding it to you, did you? Uh -uh. It's a little bit cheaper than the hamburger. Well, not regular hamburger, but you need something better for this that don't have too much fat content in it. Turns out they're moist though. They're good. Yeah, they are good. 
Well, everybody, we will say bye for now. This is a little bit sooner. We're going to try to get you another one real quick. So what's the next show you think might be? It's either going to be bread pudding. There's one more. Are you looking for ants? No, there's something I want to show you with lettuce. If you got a half a head of lettuce or something left, I'm going to show you something you can do with it that's good. If you're country, you'll like it. <laughs> well, you like it if you're city, too. That's right. So. You'll like it if you're city, too. But if, what I meant to say, if you're country, you might know about it. So you want to do that Appalachian lasagna someday? Yeah, I'll try it for the third time, David. Hall. I know. This is twice we... This is supposed to be the charm. No, the last time you went to bed. No, it, no, it wouldn't. I can't get it to work on the computer. It keeps crashing and everything keeps going wrong. That's anyway, why I kind of get discouraged with all this. It ain't working out too well. I hope y'all will try this and enjoy it. It's very good. Yeah, it is good. I think that's my new way of making it. You don't have to, it doesn't call for bell peppers. If you want bell peppers, you can add them. Maybe it do it like. It doesn't call for the extra onions, but I'd say put them because they're good in there. So I use a sweet onion, so it's not going to bother me anyhow, but it's good. Real good. I like this recipe. And hopefully we'll get Sadie back here before long. She's going to love it. She's craving my chicken and dumplings. So, oh, I meant to make some and send them by you today. Yeah. She, um, she's looking after her daddy with a broken leg. So, as soon as she gets well, maybe we can get her down. No, the governor's going to make them go to school all summer. We can still get her down on the weekend. Yeah, on the weekends we can. Okay. All right, then. We'll see y'all next time. You have to stay safe and have a good rest of your winter. Spring is coming. Yay! I'm happy. I can't wait. Me too. Already right, needs a break for warm weather. <laughs> we need warm weather soon. I'm about ready to move to Florida, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll see y'all next time. Bye. It does is good.